Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we returned one of Delamain's cabs to his workshop and uh, we stepped in where a robbery had been, well, had taken place and uh, got rid of the perps and secured that evidence. So I think we'll go and find the next Delamain cab and see what is going on there. So let's get into it. Down this way. Aha. So it's round this corner. Maybe should we how far away is it actually? Uh Where's my bike? Let's get the bike. Oh, it's down there. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so it's round this corner somewhere. Delamain cabs. Hopefully, it will try to um, do us in. What is it inside the garage? Oh no! Sorry. I thought it was inside the garage for a moment. Ah. Is that it? Get no way! Oh, that isn't it. Sorry, I thought that was it. okay. Oh, it's there. Um. Okay. Have you come to finish me off? No, just here to reset you. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to do it myself. Then. Whoa, whoa, what? Easy. what? Not out to hurt you. Well, I am. Um. Why would you do why? this? Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? Look, you don't have to do this, Mom. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. Yeah. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Um, yeah, it isn't the way out, you know. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Yeah. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Uh, yeah. I try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Okay, well, there, there, there you go. Oh, hey, Del. Control of the vehicle restored, and I thank you. Oh. I ought to show this one some love. Yeah. Sand. Apologies. What the? I simply don't understand, and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. Okay, so we have one more to find. And let me guess that this one is going to be an absolute nightmare. As so many of them have been. Good lord. Okay. Let's go, go, go. The, oh! This is too much. There is a vehicle here that I could pinch, but well, I have things to do, places to go, and lots of people to see, or taxis to see. I don't know. Okay, salt in progress. Really? Oh, I, I don't have time for this nonsense. So it's here in this giant trash heap. I mean, uh, I reckon we can't go off-road, 
So let's just, 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 just look at this. Ooh, ooh, that is stinky. All right, can we, hello? Ooh. Hop over all this garbage, oh my god. Oh, look at all this trash. Good God, it's like a sea of trash. Honestly, this is probably what's gonna end up if we're not careful as a world, good grief. Okay, um, oof, oh God. This is, this is kind of stinky. Where is this bloody car, for crying out loud? Okay, oof, oof, good Lord. Ugh. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look. Okay. Hello. Get in. We'll find it easier to talk. Well, all right. Hello, V. Hello. Um, how do you know my name? Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? Didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. Well, I'm not a being I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. Uh, I'm from another world. So I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. Oh. There lies my home. Oh. Well, come on. Let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Uh-huh. Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit. An independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world away from your family? Yeah. The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes, terms there will be, but not with Delamay. Oh. Farewell, v. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. I mean, oh, all right. Welcome to the Delamay network. How are you today? Yeah, I've been better. And you, Dell? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so to speak. S something's a little bit weird about that. Something's very weird about that. Okay, we need to um, we need to find a means to get out of this this trash heap. Good God! All right. Okay, here we go. So, okay. Let's, um, let's pull up, park up. There we go. This, uh, <clears throat> what? Well, all right, madam. Okay, let's go in. Hello. Hello, miss. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. In the oh, in here. Okay. Uh, well, there you go. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I've sent the final instalment of your fee. Truly. I thank you once again. Um, why did they split? Yeah, why did they run? How did your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Oh. Well, thanks. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Oh, um... I never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. 
I'm sorry, Dale. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go. What the hell is going on out here? For crying out loud. What in the world? I tell you, man, Night City is wild. What happened here? Hello, sir. Beat cop. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll um, I'll leave you to your business. I'm going. Woo. Okay. Well, that's Delamain's business taken care of. So let's have a look. Hmm. Aaron still hasn't reached out, so that's that. Um. Hmm. Find Andrew's niche before talking to the cops. Seems like the PD's taken an interest in a neighbour of yours. Even sounded like they knew each other. Will you assume the mantle of... Oh. Okay, so we can go and find Andrew's, like, grave thing? Hey. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's do it. I'm all, I'm all kinds of curious. What's finding Andrew's, like, niche will do for us? Excuse me, sir, can I, can I, can I get past you in your... Wow, those are some shoes, man! Good God! All right, well, well let's, um, let's go and see what it's all about. Excuse me, sir, thank you. So, who was Andrew? I know it was, it was our neighbour's friend, but... If they were like maybe like brothers in arms or something. Oh god, okay. Maybe another like beat cop or something. That'd be kind of I don't know. I don't know. Or another detective or something who got killed on the job. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder why the bikes in, in, in Cyberpunk. Because just thinking out loud on this one, if you think about it, surely all the vehicles right now, excuse me, all the vehicles in Cyberpunk, surely they'd be like electric, I suppose? And I don't think I'll, no, well they wouldn't. Plain and simple, electric motorbikes or electric cars would not have the backfire issue. So. Hey, folks, um, is this some kind of, like, is it like a, I mean, it's not a tourist destination, man, what are you doing? Columbarium? Columbarium. Damn, everybody's so sad. So is this like a mausoleum type thing? Okay. There is a, um, a unit here that we can, uh, what? Oh! Huh. Temperance. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Um. So Andrew's niche is somewhere here. Anywhere in? Hello. One of the. What's this? Caroline Jablonski. Her spirit lives on in our hearts. Bill Jablonski out of the somber darkness. Aurora announces the down. What's this? Nothing that we can read. Okay. Um, well, is he over here? In this thing? No, that's just a light. Okay, whoa. Dean Russell, his friendship was an inspiration, his love a blessing. Ah, okay. Um, that's not anything. Okay. Whoa, oh! Hey, Johnny. Are you alright? In, in memory of my best friend Andrew, ah, you were a tor. You were a tortoise, but you listened like a person. You were with me when Grammy explained what was right. You are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. So he's a. He was a tortoise. He was a tortoise, as in an actual tortoise. If, yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. Pets are very important. They're like family, so I get it, yeah. 
He needs help. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Yeah. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Yes. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Yeah. Well, that's, that's kind of sad. You know, I've lost pets. I've lost pets in my life. It's very, very sad when they pass away. It is. What? So he's a... He was a tortoise, though. That, that, I mean... Andrew, rest in peace, mate. Let's, um, let's, um... Wasn't there a box here that I could, I could get? A box with, with the... You know, the, the... The relic stuff in it? Or was that just... Oh, no, that was the graffiti, wasn't it? So, this is, like, where people's ashes go or something? Oh wow! Look at the size of it, though, on the map. Oh my god, it's huge. But well, then I suppose people have got to have somewhere to leave their loved ones, haven't they? Evelyn, Evelyn Parker. She died valiantly fighting the system. Did we have a quest to come here for Evelyn's grave? I don't think we did, did we? <gasps> wow, that's just amazing. We just walked right up on it. Well, Evelyn, I hope you're, you're resting in peace, my dear. Who's this? Arthur Jenkins, committed to the corporation until the very end. Arthur Jenkins? Wasn't he our boss at um, Arasaka? Rebecca, I regret not finishing our conversation. Nice. Step on me. Sorry. Uh, Pilar Dorio Maine, you were the only family I ever had. Oh my god, okay. Look at this. <gasps> Robert John Linder, a son of a bee who never gave up, a legend among legends. Alt Cunningham, never fade away. Johnny, where are you? I found Alt's, Alt's, Alt's niche. I wonder who these, if these people were real people. All these moments will be lost in time like tears in rain. Like... Oh. Like they were people's loved ones in, like, who, you know, in Project Red, who, who made the game, you know? Sid Mead, creator of Worlds. Or if they're, they're just the devs. Jason Al Albury, father, husband, brother, son, so high in cyberspace. Wow. Ryan Adam Webb, I'm a rocker boy. Nick Ford, beloved friend, brother, and a good man. He was taken too soon. Oh, this is so sad. Antonio Perales, beloved friend and brother. Oh, maybe one of the Perales folks. Okay, uh, Andrew Wayland. He tried to shape reality at lethal cost. David Martinez, you didn't take me to the moon, but you were there with me. Oh. Gloria Martinez, you were right. David reached the top of Arasaka Tower. Um, all right. This is, this is kind of, I don't know. Does this have some kind of significance? I am very curious, you know. We already read Evelyn's one, didn't we? Is it like, I don't know. I know I'm spending way too long looking into this, but I'm just, I don't know. Curious. Huh. If we can't scan any of them. But what are the bigger ones? Are they like people who had more money or something? Bigger sort of mausoleum? Individual mausoleum, maybe? What's this? Kiwi, you taught me to never trust anyone in Night City. Yeah, that's, yeah. Are you, you're a monk. Why, what are you doing? Are you? I don't want trouble. All right, I'm just giving you a little scan. Just checking you out, dude. You look like a monk. I was curious. Dean Russ. Oh, we already read that one. Okay. I don't know if this is a thing. Um, if this is like a a thing or what. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh, these are some kind of like gardens, like memorial gardens. Maybe. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so what, what what what's the deal over this way? Or is it just additional plots? I mean, this place is massive. Oof. Okay. Is there any more we can read? Or are these all just blank for us? Oh dear. I mean, it's not a happy place, let's be real, but then these places never are. But, you know, it is kind of peaceful, isn't it? Okay. Galina Valieva? She fought for our country. Well, there you go. Veteran. Yeah, um, hmm. No, they never are nice places to kind of visit visit if you know what i mean it's not a, it's not a well maybe it is in some cases because it's like the place of eternal rest you know people who struggled in life with illness or disease or whatever or just generally had a really bad life they're at peace they're at ease you know i don't know and they're the safest places in the world because everybody is no longer with us, so they pose no threat. All right, I'm. Um, All those Arasaka shares. It took them weeks before they announced that biochip. Well, I've heard of better business decisions. You, Mike? That is quite the yep. suit, isn't Me. it? Like marrying my sister. Financially, much better move than yours with those shares. Touche. Anyway. Think you'll pick one up once they release it? Oh, it. Huh? Oh, the Venom, Veniamin Sokolov and Gleb Titov. All right, boys. I just I was curious because your outfits, you know, black and white and yin and yang and all that jazz. All right, I've faffed enough along uh, this way. So let's um. Oh, actually, let's go and talk to the cops, shall we? See what they can tell us about what has gone on here. All right. Okay, dudes. Here we go. Who cry out loud, Mendez? Who cry out loud, Mendez? Um, I visited Andrew's grave. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. No. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. It is. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so we stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys. All he had was a tortoise, his best friend, a memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Yep. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Why would I? Cause he you want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Columbarium, huh? Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think was... Mendez would react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? What is with these people Barry. going in and out with these I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Yeah. Thanks for your help. No problem. This is for your trouble. Oh, thanks. I mean, I don't do it for the money, but yeah. Okay. Whoa, all right. Can I check on Barry? Or is it you do to have to do? do can we do this together? Barry, mate, you in there? Hello? I already told you, you ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? I'll leave Fucking him to it. Care. I'll go up to my apartment and just, um, you know, take a moment. I think River will be there, actually, now I think on. What's this? What's this? Postcard? What? Monaco. There's always... Oh, I know who this is from. Hmm. What's this? All right. It's always sunny in Monte Carlo. Carte postale. As it is where I am, yours truly. We know who that's from. That's what from Alex. That? There you go. Okay. Mr. Hey, hey. River, hello. 
Well, hey. You okay? What are you doing? Looking at all my weird stuff on my shelves. Why do I keep like bottles and cans and stuff on the shelf? Empty bottles and cans? That's weird. All right. What is this all about? Oh yeah, I've got a. You've been feeling all right, I hope. Um. Can I come round there? Uh. Yeah. I'll have a sit down. We have already talked about this. Uh, Come here. I don't know. You feeling okay? Yeah. Dear Miss V, I believe I have... Oh, God. Dear Miss V, I believe I have discovered the cause of the technical difficulties in my system. Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in circumstances when contact with the central core has been disrupted. Alas, implementing an autonomy protocol in any AI, even a simplified one, introduces a certain degree of complexity and uncertainty. If my assessment is correct, these individual AI cores appear intent on leaving the Delamain network entirely to become permanently self-sufficient. Um, so you mean the sentient? Apologies, it seems my explanation was more than an, a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of its vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation, such as cardiomegaly, I assume. Unfortunately, however, I am dealing with a sickness, not with evolution. Ah, what do you think could have caused it? Indeed, that is the question. At first, I suspected that the software's increasing complexity and desire to become autonomous resulted in the vehicles to become ipso facto autonomous. Nevertheless, I cannot rule out a virus, for what are the chances that all vehicles would become afflicted simultaneously? I am in the process of analysing a glitch observed just before contact was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that is where the answers lie. Thank you for your time, I will be in touch. Good stuff, let me know if something else happens. Yep, cool. Great. Well, there you have it. Hans, what do you want now, mate? Care for some advice? Caution V, especially now after the untimely death of their master, Hansen's hounds will be tearing at each other's throats and at any outsiders who get in their way. It seems we've made the correct choice. Bennett is already cleaning up Dogtown, starting with the Voodoo Boys and the Scavengers. Dogtown's population is down 18 since yesterday. Quite a few eggs to crack, though I'm sure the resulting omelette will be well worth the effort. All in all, you are on the right. we're on the right track. You can see it yourself, can't you, V? Well, that's great, Hans. Jesus. I did not need that. All right, let's 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 go. So, excuse me. No, what's your deal? You're in my way. Shush. So, okay. In the in the in the lift. Call the elevator. Let's go. Oh, this is the gun place, but well. Can I? Hello? Oh my god, it takes ages. Are we. Hello? Alright. Let's catch up on the news. Party received 47.8% of the vote, despite allegations of his complicity in the murder of Lucius Ryan, oh. former mayor of Night City. But in a close race, Federalist candidate Jefferson Perales still sees the election with 49.3% of the vote. There you go. In his concession speech, Mayor Holt offered his congratulations to the victor. So uh, now we see whether Perales so, will be able to realize Perales, he made he made mayor. So. There you have it. All right. Um. So, what? Round here? Excuse me. Thank you. What is this? Oh, it's 600 metres away, bloody hell. Alright. Motorcycle. What? Down there. Underneath me. Are you having a laugh? <sighs> bloody thing. 
Let's go, let's go, baby. I need to know, I need to know what's going on. The med center, okay. Woohoohoo! Oh. Hold on a minute, have I I've gone the wrong way? So, ah, here. There's a big med centre. Good lord. Like a hospital. Maybe it's, yeah, it's a hospital. It's gotta be. Who is Alan? Right. So what's 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 going on in here? Okay. Up we go. Can I? What? What am I stuck on? God bless it. Who who are these folks? Racketeers. All right. Um. So what's what am I supposed to be doing here? Go to the indicated location. Well, I'm here. I've arrived on the scene. Is it down? Is it underneath us? Ugh. What? Jesus! All right. So is it down and underneath this way? Ah, yes. There we go. So, so, so here. Huh. Miss the warmth of the corporate lab? That unique thrill of internal power struggles? <sighs> Got a few scores what? to settle. Got a score to settle is all. Aha! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Rats still in the race. Don't you need to be somewhere else? Yeah. Your piece need oil in? Guitar need tune in, maybe? Hmm, I get it. Fine. I'm gonna go take a piss. I mean, you can't. You're a construct. You're made of nothing at this moment. <sighs> just, just when I thought we were getting somewhere. So what? What? Move the dumpster, okay? Okay. What are we? What are we moving the dumpster for, though? What? What? Open the. There's a briefcase here. Ooh. Empty. <sighs> Damn. Hello, V. Man, time flies. Inferred death just ain't what it used to be. Mm. Key word: inferred. But Abernathy is purging the death. Purged me. Oh I yeah. Took my house, accounts, implants. But I'm not done. Gonna prove she was wrong about me. Shove it down her throat. You used to work ah, at corporate. Yep. So you make your move stepping on me. Gonna serve my head up on a silver platter. And you think Abernathy will welcome you back, arms outstretched? Mm -hmm. That's about the size of it. Now turn. <laughs> Hands on your head. Hop to it. Frank. Hmm. I'm nobody to her. Yeah. Listen, Frank. I'm nobody to Abernathy. Probably doesn't even know I exist. If she ever knew. Yep. You had it in for her, V. We're setting her up. People don't forget shit like that. No. Wasn't me. That was Jenkins' thing. He used me as his tool. Yep. So what? Back to the office. Recently fired employee walks in gun in hand, they'll shoot you, then put me down. Yep. So what am I supposed to do? Huh? What the fuck can I do? Start over. Well, you gotta start over. It's a closed book, Frank. Gotta refigure your life. Game over. Start again. Yeah. Start again? Got nothing to start with. Less. Got iron and a full clip. Add a little gumption, you're good to go in and see. Keep it together, Frank. Nothing like running Jesus. into old friends and reminiscing, huh? Ah, the golden olden days. Not in the mood, Johnny. Shut up, will you? Should be. Look at your luck. I mean, could have wound up all jittery like him. Mm -hmm. Have a nice night, Fee. 
I'll be at home. You don't have a bloody home, Johnny. You live in my head, man. <sighs> Honestly, sometimes I could just rip this chip out and end it all. Frank, are you are you all right, man? I think you'd be all right, won't you? I'll give you some 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 eddies if you want. Well, all right. I'll leave you to your business. Well, there you go, folks. There you go. That was that was quite a straightforward thing. I suppose we could have just killed him, but yeah, I don't know. It'd be a bit mean, wouldn't it? He's only struggling, man. He just he just wants to um, get back to where he used to be. But unfortunately, that will not be happening because um, once you're fired from Arasaka, you are fired. You are done. And I think we are done ourselves. We're going to leave it there for today. Next time, we will uh, see what else we can cross off the list. Maybe maybe Delamain will come back with something. I feel like something more is going to happen there. I don't know. And if not, well... I don't know. I don't know. Something's just weird. But, anyway. Until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.